Do you think winning the lottery is an amazing thing? Well, how about winning it more than once? Every single person on this list won more than once. Because the last story is seriously mind-blowing. Dwayne Ketterman Delaware resident Dwayne Ketterman used to buy a lottery ticket as a little treat. It's time for me to conquer the physical world. Every time he had to cross the border into Maryland for work. The power line technician didn't realize that in 2022, his little habit was going to pay off. He checked his ticket and was amazed to see he'd won 18 grand, but he didn't stop playing. Incredibly, just one month later, he got lucky for a second time, winning over 30 grand. He said he never expected to win once, so winning twice just left him stunned. Dwayne Ketterman is still trying to work out what to do with his money, but the next person on our list knew exactly how she wanted to spend hers. Evelyn Adams Evelyn Adams worked in a convenience store in New Jersey before she became one of the luckiest people who ever lived. I mean, I know I did the right thing. In October of 1985, she unexpectedly won a whopping 3.9 million. Amazingly, it wouldn't be her only stroke of luck. Just four months later, she won another jackpot, this time for 1.2 million. That's not the biggest jackpot these days, but back in the 80s, it was pretty huge. How does she do it? Well, it might have had something to do with her spending $100 a week on tickets. She clearly had a bit of a gambling problem, and winning two lottery jackpots only made her believe she'd keep winning even more. But she didn't. Her lucky streak ran out, and she blew all her lottery money at the casinos. She was eventually forced to move into a mobile home. Maybe her lottery wins weren't as lucky as they seemed, but there's no doubt about how lucky the next person on our list was. Kenneth J. Stokes Kenneth didn't just win the lottery twice, he holds the unique title of the only lottery winner to win the lottery twice in one draw. How did that happen? Well, his family had bought him a season pass to the Massachusetts State Lottery's Lucky for Life game as a gift. Only, he'd forgotten, so he bought himself a ticket to the game too. The family always used the same lottery numbers, which meant the ticket he bought and the ticket they gave him had exactly the same set of numbers on them. Those numbers also happened to be the numbers that came up in the draw. The odds were literally a million to one, but he has $546,000 to prove that anything's possible. Winning twice in one draw has got to be one of the luckiest things that's ever happened. But the next person on our list was even luckier, Bill Morgan. Bill Morgan has one of the most incredible stories of any lottery winner ever. I'm not joking. You're not joking. He almost died in a truck accident where he was almost crushed. Somehow, he survived, but needed urgent attention. Doctors injected him with a life-saving drug, realizing too late that Bill was seriously allergic to it. Bill had a heart attack and died. Wait, what? Well, somehow, doctors brought him back to life 14 minutes later, but he never woke up. After a week of being in a coma, doctors told his family to take him off life support. They refused. I guess that's where his lucky streak started, because he woke up a few days later, somehow without any serious health problems. A little while later, he bought a scratch-off ticket, and he won a brand new car. The media heard about his crazy story and asked if he could recreate his lottery win live on camera. But then, something really weird happened. The easiest way to do the recreation was for Bill to just buy a ticket while the cameras rolled. So they went down to the store and he scratched off another ticket, only to discover that he'd won 250,000 Australian dollars. That's about $180,000 in the US. I guess coming back from the dead makes you pretty lucky. Bill Morgan's life nearly ended before he got the chance to find out how lucky he was. The next person had a different way of looking at things. He was clearly planning for the future. Robert Hamilton. Robert Hamilton from Indianapolis had a bit of a lucky year back in 2014. <laughs> he enjoyed buying scratch cards, but never expected that he'd one day win the $1 million jackpot. But he didn't take it for granted. He was responsible with his winnings, using it to pay off all his debt before doing anything else. Then he bought a house, which is a pretty solid investment. 
But if you're thinking it was a waste of an opportunity to have some fun, well, he only needed to wait a few months before that moment came. Against all odds, he won another jackpot playing the same lottery game. He used some of his new $1 million to buy a motorcycle. Was 2014 a lucky year for you too? It sure was for the next person on our list. Mary Rydell Mary Rydell was also a fan of scratch-off tickets, and it was the 40th anniversary Millions game that was her first lucky ticket. I need to wait for my moment and then I'm going black ops. She won an impressive $50,000, but she didn't even keep it for herself. As a loving mom, she thought the money would be more of use to her daughter because she could use it to buy her first house. So she didn't even benefit from her lottery win. But just four months later, she won a few dollars on another scratch off at a gas station in Brunswick. Instead of accepting the few dollars, she used it to buy another ticket straight away. She asked the clerk to choose a ticket for her. This was a pretty great gamble because she won another $100,000. She kept the jackpot for herself, adding it to her retirement fund. Let's fast forward from 2014 to 2023 to find out about our next winner, Ryan Othman. Ryan Othman has got to be one of the newest winners out there. The Ontario resident was lucky enough to win 180,000 Canadian dollars or 132,000 US dollars only this year. But his luck was only just beginning. Only a month later, he won a much bigger jackpot of 1 million Canadian dollars. That's about 733,000 in the US. Are you kidding me? While he was buying the winning ticket, he also bought a few others that netted him another $7. Okay, that's a lot less impressive. But you can say he won the lottery twice in the same day. Kinda. We'll have to stay in Ontario to meet the next winner on our list. Antoine Biani. Antoine Biani just missed winning a lottery jackpot twice in one year. He'd often buy tickets from his local convenience store. In August 2021, he couldn't believe his eyes as he scratched off his ticket. He'd won the $1 million jackpot. That's Canadian dollars, by the way, about 733,000 in US dollars. 13 months later, he was having deja vu. He scratched off another ticket, only to discover he'd won exactly the same jackpot prize again. It turns out Ontario residents are some of the luckiest people in the world. Just ask Stephen Antell. Ontario resident Stephen Antell's lucky streak started back in 2018 when he won an impressive 250,000 Canadian dollars, about 183,000 US dollars. He had no idea that was just the beginning. In 2019, he won again. It was a little less this time, at 100,000, or 73,000 US dollars. But that's still a prize that's worth celebrating. And it wouldn't be his last. Just this year, Stephen remarkably won again. This time, he was playing a game that only exists in Ontario called Bigger Spin. And it gave him his biggest win yet. This time, he took home 550,000. That's about 430,000 in the US. Just think, one more win and he'll probably have a million. That's a crazy story, but even the most amazing lottery stories come with one important decision. Do you choose annuity payments or just take the lump sum? The next winner on our list never needed to choose. Kevin Miller Kevin Miller from Massachusetts bought a lottery ticket at the same supermarket in Turner Falls for years. And in 2016, it finally paid off. He won a life-changing $1 million, choosing to take the lump sum. A lot of lottery experts and financial advisors tell people not to take the lump sum. But Kevin's gamble was going to pay off six years later. He still played the lottery all the time at the same store after winning, and he got lucky again. This time, he won a Lucky for Life lottery game, which means he'll be getting $25,000 every year for the rest of his life. So he's got the best of both worlds. That's one really lucky way to win the lottery, but our next winner's two wins happened much closer together. Racy Pell. Racy Pell had one of the luckiest days anyone's ever had in 2013. He'd bought $20 worth of Super Lotto Plus tickets, and that turned out to be the best $20 he ever spent. It turned out there wasn't just one winner in that group of tickets, but two. One was worth an impressive sum of $32,000. 
That would have been amazing on its own, but there was a jackpot winner in his hands too. And that one was worth a whopping $50 million. He said he mainly played the lottery because he liked that they gave money to schools in California. So I guess being charitable pays off. He didn't even quit his job after winning, but did say he was thinking about buying a car. There are many different reasons to play the lottery, but there are also a lot of different lottery games to play. The next winner on our list got lucky thanks to a pretty unusual lottery game. Wendy Barron Wendy Barron is a mom of four from England. She had a pretty good relationship with her neighbors, and they decided to take advantage of that. In the UK, there's a lottery game called the People's Postcode Lottery, where there isn't just one winner, the prize is split between every house on a street. In February this year, Wendy and five of her neighbors entered this weird lottery and won. They won a total of $252,000 between them, which meant Wendy got $36,000 for herself, plus a holiday valued at $6,000. As weird as this lottery is, Wendy's story is even weirder. It turns out this is the second time Wendy has won this unusual lottery game. The first time she won it was back in 2020, when she was living at a different house. That time, she took home 13,000. That's a pretty cool kind of lottery. But if you prefer to keep that jackpot all to yourself, you'll probably be more interested in our next winner. Melvin Wilson We've already seen one winner who won the lottery three times, but Melvin Wilson has an even more impressive winning streak with four wins to his name. It all started way back in 2004. He'd bought a scratch-off ticket and was super excited to see that it won him $25,000. He had no idea that just one year later, he would win again. This time, it was the Virginia Lottery that handed him a check for $1 million. That's an amazing win, but his year was about to get even better. It was the Virginia Lottery again who had to pay out another half a million dollars to Melvin. Now, fast forward to 2013, Melvin had retired from his job as a postal worker when he became one of the luckiest people of all time with his fourth win. This was another half a million dollars. And yes, it was the Virginia Lottery again. I'm guessing they don't like Melvin very much, but he sure likes them. The odds of winning the lottery four times are about 1 in 18 septillion. No, I haven't heard of that number either. Apparently it has 24 zeros in it. In other words, the odds are nearly impossible. But weirdly, Melvin isn't the only person to do it. Here's another impossibly lucky person. Joan Ginther Texas resident Joan Ginther also had so much luck that she'd beaten the odds and won the lottery a whopping four times. And her jackpots are all huge. Her first win was in 1993, when she won a whopping 5.4 million. That was worth even more in the 90s than it is now. Ten years later, she hit another jackpot, this time taking home 1 million. Just two years later, she did it again, hitting a $3 million jackpot. But her biggest win was still to come. In 2008, she hit her biggest jackpot yet. It was an unbelievable $10 million. How was any of this possible? Well, some people think they have the answer. Joan is actually a math professor and has a PhD in statistics from Stanford University. So, was it luck? Or is being smart the same as being lucky? We'll never know in this case. But there is one person on this list who was very clear that he only won the lottery because he was smart. That winner is Jerry Selby. Jerry Selby from Michigan not only has a math degree, he also knew how to spot an opportunity. One day, while enjoying his retirement, he spotted a brochure for a new lottery game. The game was unique because instead of having a jackpot roll over if nobody won, the jackpot would roll down so the non-jackpot prizes became bigger. He spotted. This caused a loophole in the game which meant he was guaranteed to make a profit if he bought a certain number of tickets. Soon, he had a bunch of people in on it. And over the next 10 years, the group played this game every time there was a roll down, winning every time. Sometimes, they won so much that the lottery had to pay them more money than the game had earned. They won so many times, nobody kept count. But we do know they spent 18 million on lottery tickets over that decade 
and won an incredible $26 million. Yeah, I mean, it was just simple math. Anyone, anyone could have done it. There's no doubt that's impressive, but the next winner on our list has won almost as much without spending so much cash. Juan Hernandez. Juan Hernandez from New York has won twice, which is less than some of the other winners on this list, but the amount of cash he won is very impressive. His game of choice was the New York Lottery's deluxe scratch-off tickets. In 2019, he got his first win, a whopping $10 million. But he kept playing, even though he didn't need to. And in 2022, he was still working out how to spend his last jackpot. He hit another one. It was the same $10 million top prize. Even after taxes, he still won a total of $13 million. What do you do with all that money? Well, the next person on our list might have some ideas. Mark Maltz. Experts always say you should make smart investments with your lottery winnings. That's what Mark Maltz did, but not in the way you'd think. Mark is a truck driver from Michigan. While at work in 2018, he stopped at a gas station and bought a scratch-off ticket while he was there. He was delighted to see the ticket won him $10. He decided to invest some of that into another ticket. This one was for the fast cash lottery game and was also a winner. Mark now had another $15, so he split it between two more lottery tickets, a $5 fast cash blackjack ticket and a $10 jackpot slots ticket. It was the jackpot slots ticket that turned out to be the best investment. In fact, it was a jackpot winner. Mark took home over $325,000 as a result of his unique way of investing. That was pretty lucky, but how do you know when to stop when you're on that kind of winning streak? Well, the next person on our list never stopped. So what happened? Calvin and Zatera Spencer. Virginia residents Calvin and Zatera Spencer might be the luckiest couple of all time. But weirdly, all their lottery luck came in just one month in 2014. The first win on the 12th of March was thanks to the Powerball. They were lucky enough to take home $1 million, which wasn't the jackpot, but it's definitely a prize worth celebrating. He just won a million dollars in Virginia Lottery! Woo! 14 days later, they tried their luck at the Virginia Lottery's Pick 4 game, and they won another $50,000. But if that wasn't lucky enough, the very next day, they decided to see if they could push their winning streak even further with a scratch-off ticket. Amazingly, it worked. They won another $1 million. At the time, Calvin declared they weren't done yet. Normally, that would have been a crazy thing to say, but somehow, he was right. In 2017, they played another Virginia Lottery game called Cash 5, and as unbelievable as it sounds, they won again. This time, it was 100 grand. That's a lot of lottery wins. But the next person on our list didn't need to be as patient while they waited for their next win. Raymond Roberts People have all kinds of techniques that they think will help them win the lottery. Raymond Roberts had a pretty simple one. He played the same numbers every time. But weirdly, it wasn't just one ticket. In December 2022, he bought six Lucky for Life tickets, all with the same numbers. That sounds like a crazy thing to do, but somehow it worked. His numbers came up, which meant that he won $25,000 a year for the rest of his life on each one of his tickets. For the winnings on five of his tickets, he chose to take the lump sum, which meant he had a total of $1.9 million before taxes. But for his sixth winning ticket, he chose the $25,000 per year payments. Winning so many times has got to feel good, but could he have done even more? Let's ask Richard Lustig. Richard Lustig is probably the most famous name on this list. Between 1993 and 2010, he won the lottery no less than seven times. In addition to the seven lottery game grand prizes that I've won, I've won hundreds of thousands of dollars over the years in prizes that were not grand prizes. His biggest single prize was 842 grand, but in total, he won a little over a million. But he didn't stop with all those wins he decided to use the publicity to build a career. So, he became an author and started appearing on TV, telling people how to win the lottery like him. In fact, his book is literally called How to Increase Your Chances of Winning the Lottery. 
Okay, it's not really catchy, but it doesn't need to be if it really works. However, some experts aren't so sure it does. They say his techniques don't actually increase your chances, and some suggest that he bought so many tickets to get his seven wins that he didn't even make a profit. So, is he a genius or a liar? We'll leave it up to you to decide. Richard isn't the only one who just bought loads of tickets. Just ask Stefan Mandel. Stefan Mandel uses syndicates to his advantage. But what does that mean in lottery terms? Well, a bunch of people put in money so loads of tickets can be bought, and then they all split the prize between them. Stefan bought tickets to American lotteries for a huge Australian syndicate who wanted to use his math knowledge to help them win. He bought loads of tickets to cover every possible combination of numbers, guaranteeing that they'll win the jackpot. And it worked. He won the lottery a whopping 14 times, and his biggest prize was $27 million, which he won in a Virginia lottery in 1992. So why is he not still doing it? The lotteries changed their rules so that there would be too many possible combinations of numbers for people like Stefan to be able to guess a winner. It's easy to buy loads of tickets if people are giving you money to buy them. But the next person tried that all on his own. Armand Paganelli New York businessman Armand Paganelli isn't a math genius, but he did have access to a lottery machine in his store. Maybe that's why he won the lottery a whopping 16 times in only two years, put all his wins together, and he's got a total of $625,000. There was a lot of suspicion that he was cheating, but investigators think he was just lucky. He says it's probably just down to how many tickets he buys. Okay, 16 seems like the most possible lottery wins if you're not doing something crazy smart. But there's one winner who didn't win through smarts, or buying loads of tickets, or even playing all the time. And she still won an insane amount of times. But how many? Deborah Brown. This story is so crazy, everyone finds it hard to believe. But it sure looks like it's 100% true. Deborah Brown from Richmond, Virginia won the lottery a mind-blowing 30 times in just one day. What are you saying? If you're thinking there's a good explanation for this, there's not. In what seems like an impossible stroke of luck, Deborah bought a stack of 20 pick four tickets, all with exactly the same numbers, one, zero, three, one. Then she went about her day but she said she kept seeing the numbers everywhere she went. So, on her way home, she stopped at the store again, this time buying another 10 tickets, again with the same numbers. Somehow, all 30 of the tickets she bought were winners. The jackpot for pick four games is $5,000, meaning she took home 150 grand. I'll bet that was the luckiest day anyone ever had. Now you know about the most amount of times someone won the lottery. But how about the most money ever won? Don't worry, we've got you covered. This is our list of the winners who won the biggest jackpots ever and what they did with their cash. 